where we're going to start talking about how to calculate ad rank and your actual CPC. You now understand quality score, you understand the auction, and now we're going to really dive into the modern day Google AdWords auction where we understand what number your ad rank is, um, how your ad rank determines your place in the auction, and more importantly, how the actual auction works to determine what you pay when your ad gets clicked on. So we now know the history of quality score, why it was implemented, and we also know all the factors that make up quality score. But the question still remains, who cares? Who cares how good or bad your quality scores are? In the previous slide, we spoke about inflated costs with low quality scores, and now we're going to really dive into what exactly that means and how it works. It all begins with an understanding of how ad rank is calculated in the post quality score era. Like we saw a while back in our example with Brad, Ben, and Brett, the old formula used to calculate ad rank didn't account for quality score. Essentially, the highest bidder won the top slot, since max CPC bid was the most important factor in calculating ad rank. The new formula introduced to calculate ad rank changes things up dramatically, so let's see what that new formula is and what it means for advertisers and their bidding wars. The new formula for ad rank that Google introduced in 2005 was ad rank equals max CPC bid times quality score. The formula stayed that way until 2013 when Google introduced the expected impact of ad extensions on CTR as part of the ad rank formula. Google found that different sorts of ad extensions like site links, callouts, review extensions, etc. could favorably impact an ad CTR and they included these ad extension CTR projections into the ad rank formula. But we don't know exactly how the ad rank formula changed in order to accommodate the ad extension factors. Brad Geddes of Certify Knowledge proposes that ad extensions account for about 20% of the quality score portion of the current ad rank formula. But whether or not that number is precisely accurate, we could be very confident that it's not much more than that. Because so many advertisers are using ad extensions, and because it's a pretty small factor by itself, we'll continue by evaluating some example scenarios with the primary formula, which is ad rank equals max CPC bid times quality score. Let's create a sample auction with some of our old friends, but now we'll add a couple of women into the auction. So in this example, we're going to have Brad, Beth, Brett, Ben, and Brenda all bidding on the same keyword. For the sake of the example, let's assume that there are only four available ad slots on this particular search results page. So only four of these five advertisers are going to win an ad spot at this auction. So let's say Brad sets his max CPC bid at $9, Beth sets hers at $7, Brett is willing to pay no more than $6.25, Ben's max is $3, and Brenda is the most frugal bidder at $2 for her max CPC. Now let's make up some quality scores for these folks. Brad gets a quality score of 1, Beth lands a 3, Brett gets a perfectly respectable 7, Ben is mediocre with a 5, and Brenda hits the jackpot with a 10 quality score. Now, let's calculate the respective ad rank so we can determine their position. Remember, we get ad rank by simply multiplying the max bid by quality score. So Brad's ad rank is a 9, Beth's is a 21, Brett's ad rank is 43.75, Ben has an ad rank of 15, and finally Brenda with an ad rank of 20. Now that we've calculated the ad rank for each advertiser in the auction, we can determine their positions on the search results page. Remember, in our example here, there are only four available ad slots. So Brett wins the coveted top spot on the page, even though there were two advertisers in the auction willing to pay more than him for a click. Since he was serving a higher quality ad, he was able to take the first spot with his seven quality score. Beth takes the second spot on the page, beating other high quality ads like Ben and Brenda, since she was willing to pay substantially more for a click. Brenda, who is willing to pay the least for a click, wins spot number three since she's serving such a high quality ad. And Ben wins spot number four with his combination of bid and quality score. Interestingly, Brad, who is willing to pay a whopping $9 for a click, gets snubbed altogether and doesn't get any spot on the page. Because although his bid was the highest, his quality score was so low that his ad rank wound up being worse than everyone else's. This helps us understand how crucial quality scores are 
even before getting into the formula for determining actual cost per click, which we'll get to in a moment. Let's think about it. Let's say Beth went to work on her quality score by rewriting her ads and putting together a more relevant landing page, and she got her quality score up to a 7. Now, instead of a 21, her ad rank would be a 49, and she would win the top spot from Brett without increasing her bid at all. Purely on the basis of improving her quality score, she was able to change her ad position. And if, for example, Brenda was to let her quality score slip from a 10 to a 5, her ad rank would turn into a 10 and she'd lose her spot to Ben. So now we could really see how the new ad rank formula really puts a huge emphasis on quality score on a very practical level. We see how connected your ad position is to how Google perceives the quality of the ad you're offering in the auction. But position isn't the only thing that quality score affects. We know that your max CPC bid isn't the actual price you pay for a click. It's simply the most you're willing to pay for a click. Quality score plays a huge role in how much you actually end up paying for a click, and as promised, let's take a look at how your actual CPC is determined and what role quality score plays in that area of the auction. So I just reset the original numbers here and reordered the advertisers in order of ad rank. We've got Brett in spot number one, Beth in spot number two, Brenda in third place, Ben in fourth, and Brad the Loser knocked out of the running for this particular auction. Google sets up their auction that an advertiser could bid the maximum they are willing to pay for a click, but they only have to actually pay the minimum amount needed to maintain their position, or in other words, the minimum they would need to beat the advertiser directly below them. From a mathematical perspective, as explained by Google's chief economist Hal Varian, you have P1, the price advertiser 1 has to pay, with Q1, that advertiser's quality score, and that's going to be just enough to beat B1, the bid of the advertiser below him, and Q2, the quality score of the advertiser below him. To solve this equation, you get P1 equals the ad rank of the advertiser below him, which is his bid multiplied by his quality score, divided by the quality score of advertiser 1. In other words, your actual cost per click is the ad rank to beat or the ad rank of the advertiser right below you, divided by your quality score. So let's figure out what our guys and girls here would actually have to pay Google for an ad click. To figure out Brett's actual CPC, we take 21, which is the ad rank of the advertiser with the ad rank directly below him, and we divide it by 7. So Brett's actual CPC is $3. Beth's actual CPC is calculated by taking Brenda's ad rank and dividing it by 3, which is Beth's quality score, and that gives us an actual CPC of $6.66. And the same thing goes for Brenda and Ben, giving us an actual CPC of $1.50 for Brenda and $1.80 for Brad. Let's just say, for example, there were five ad slots available and only these five advertisers in the auction, then Brad would indeed win the fifth spot, but since there isn't any ad rank below him, he'd have to pay a minimum click price determined by Google. But let's take a look here and we could see some really interesting things. The first thing you probably noticed is that the number one spot on the page isn't paying the most for a click. Brett's paying just $3 for a click in position one, which is more than half the click price Beth has to pay to remain in position two. And that's purely because of Brett's higher quality score. We see a similar thing down below with Brenda and Ben, but just with less disparity between their actual CPCs. So we see what a huge role your keyword level quality score actually plays in determining how much you end up paying for an ad click. Now let's take a look at this a little further. Say Beth improves her quality score and she turns her 3 into a 6. So now her ad rank is a 42. She's still in position 2 on the results page because her ad rank is still lower than Brett's, but look what happens to her actual CPC. Now when we divide 20, which is the ad rank to beat by 6, her quality score we get an actual CPC of $3.33, half of what she was paying before. So by increasing her quality score by a few points, she's able to drastically lower her actual CPC. Now let's take a look at Brenda. Brenda can't increase her quality score any more than a 10, so is she paying the absolute minimum possible to maintain her position number three? Well, yes and no. In this example, she's paying the lowest possible CPC to maintain position three, but theoretically, if Ben's quality score was a 4 instead of a 5, which would make his ad rank a 12, Brenda would then only have to pay $1.20 per click. And this highlights the mechanics of the auction. The quality of the ads being served by the competitors in any given auction 
makes a really big difference in the actual CPCs you have to pay. Like we just saw with Brenda and Ben, the worse Ben's quality score is, the cheaper Brenda's clicks become, since Brenda only has to pay the minimum to keep her ad spot over Ben. Now what if Brenda wants to do better? What could she do? She already has a 10 quality score and can't improve that anymore. But what she could do is though, is raise her max CPC bid. So say she raises her max CPC bid to $4. She doubles it. Now what happens? Her ad rank jumps up to a 40, but she's still in position three. She still pays $1.20 a click, even though she doubled her bid, because $1.20 is still all she needs in order to beat Ben. But did anything else happen to any of the other appetizers? Yes. Beth could no longer just pay $3.33 to beat Brenda. Now, if we divide Brenda's new ad rank, which is 40, by Beth's quality score, which is 6, Beth's actual CPC jumps way back up to $6.66. Pretty amazing. If Beth raises her max CPC bid to $5 instead of 4, she'd have an ad rank of 50 and automatically take the top spot and the actual CPCs of all the other advertisers would have to be calculated again from the top. Of course, we can never know the ad ranks of the advertisers below us or above us, so we never actually know what anybody else's actual CPCs are going to be. The important thing is to appreciate the influence of quality score on actual click prices and to be acutely aware of our quality scores when assessing the health of your account and the costs you're paying for clicks. The better your quality score is, the cheaper your clicks are going to be. We're drawing close to the end of this first chapter in our quest to better quality scores, but there's a few more important things I wanted to cover. To those of you who've made it this far, you guys are real troopers, and I hope it's been at least a little helpful and not a total waste of your time. 